Hey all Decubon here and welcome back to Final Fantasy 14. Last time we were tasked to meet up with the company of heroes, the only group that apparently has taken on Titan and lived. And now, while I am level 35 and that means I could go do the next two job quests, I have a slight problem. I can see the title of the next quest, Austerities of Earth, and I know, I know wholeheartedly that I cannot start this quest until I actually beat Titan, who, believe it or not, we're actually reasonably close to. So, we're gonna be pushing on with the main story until the big old rock is in a pile of rubble. And then, and then we will go and do our job quests. What do you mean you forgot the wine? Bravo, Decamon. Thanks to you, our guests shall be honored with a marvelous banquet. But what good is an exotic feast without an equally exotic aperitif? Um, didn't I bring you a set of wine in my last playthrough? You did, but that one's just for me. Ow. Ah, your work is not yet finished. Before we can discuss Titan, you must first bring us a suitable wine. Speak with Durstwhites over yonder. He is overseeing preparations for the banquet, and will tell you what you must do. And, uh, also, if you haven't noticed, it's pouring rain here in Costa del Sol, so, uh, probably not the best day for a banquet. Now, where is this guy that I'm looking for? Oh! Oh, well, that's convenient. He's just a, a cook right here. <laughs> My chocobo's behind the counter. It's like, chocobo, pour me a tall shot. Whee! No, 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 not that. Not a martini. I said a tall shot. Whee! Beg your pardon, sir, but I've got my hands full with... Oh, you're the adventurer sent to pick up the wine. Thank the gods. We've nothing on hand that will meet with Master Gege Rouge's approval. Take this order slip and run along the wine port. Win a Whiskatite's friends from the old days. Shamani Lomani is our supplier. Who would have thought that a former mercenary would have such refined taste, eh? Everyone here agrees that he's a natural vintier. If you're lucky, maybe he'll let you have a taste. <laughs> oh, a taste, you say, huh? Well, wine port's pretty easy to reach, actually, because I actually, uh, I already have that teleporter. It, I mean, it's on the same map, but I'd have to travel through the ferry to get there anyway, and I passed right by it. Of course I did. All right, where is this guy? Ah, there he is. Shamani Lomani. Oh, you're uh, you're a Lalafell. A Lalafell with some cool shades. Still have no idea if you're a boy or girl, though. Can't tell with the name. Sweat, grime, and blood. I reek of blood. An adventure in the same mistaken. What brings you to Wineport? Uh, well, apparently I'm picking up a big old order of wine here. In order? Let me guess. A request for the finest vintage I can muster. Hmm. The paper smells of loam and perfume. Costa del Sol. And there's also the... <coughs> oh, God! Unmistakable odor of goblin cheese. Ooh. You know what that stuff is made of. No, and apparently I don't want to know. You're damn right you don't. Yes, Master Gege Rouge would not settle for anything less than the best. Just whites in his crew must be quite busy preparing an exotic feast. Hence his decision to rely on an adventurer. Ah, but perhaps you are confused. This display of deduction was not intended to impress you. When one loses his vision, he is forced to compensate in other ways. Oh, oh, that's the reason for the glasses. Oh, I'm, I, I'm sorry, man. Did that happen in the fight with Titan? But you've no interest in my affairs. You wish only to discuss the wine, I suspect. Also, the rain, the rain just stopped, and oh. Oh, we're handing out materia now, huh? <laughs> Don't think I'll use it. An offer you can refuse. Life can be so delightfully unpredictable. I always had a passion for wine, but it wasn't until I was forced to retire that I could pursue it as more than a mere hobby. It wouldn't have been possible if not for the savings I amassed during my time as a mercenary, of course. Say what you will about the nature of that work. None can deny that it pays well. Ah, but you grow impatient, and Dursweitz must have his wine. Herein lies the problem. Nothing in my possession is of sufficient quality for this occasion. The best vintages in town are hoarded by Bergland, who owns and operates the largest winery in Vilbrand. Somehow, I doubt he will be receptive to your request, but given these circumstances, we must needs beg his assistance. Speak with Bergland, huh? Uh, looks like he's actually not all that far from here. Probably just inside this building. Is that where I would find you? Are you in this big-ass building right here? Yes, yes you are. Oh, you are a big old guy. What rank amateur bottled this wine? The impurities have rendered it nigh undrinkable. Dismissal is too good for the man responsible. 
He should be made to drink every drop of his polluted swill. What is it? I'm in the middle of an important discussion, and I do not care for interruptions. Hmm? That neophyte fit near bid you speak with me? Ha! Neither you nor your friend has the power to appreciate the subtle qualities of my private stock. I would sooner serve you gobu or urine than sell you my worst vintage. Be gone from my sight. Wow. You are a surly little SOB. And by little, I mean way too big for this. Seriously, there's no delicacy there at all. Well, that went about as well as I thought, though. I take it he said no. Really? And those words? Hmm. I cannot say that I am surprised. While there's no denying his passion and skill, the wine baron of Limsa Liminsa is not a man known for his tact. Very well, we shall have to take an alternative approach. An alternative approach, eh? What is this going to be? It won't work? Oh no. There is a chance, however small, that another resident of Wineport can furnish us with a suitable wine. In fact, had you come several years ago, I guarantee this would not be a problem. Alas, the quality of our product has declined significantly in recent years. The only breeds cultivated these days are common lowland vines. Which isn't to say that their grapes are of poor quality, only that we have known better. Long ago, the Vingarens of Wineport crossbred several species and produced a grape-bearing vine of never-before-seen quality. Bachu's grapes were once the pride of this town, as they were used to produce vintages which surpassed all others. This includes the most aromatic, the most complex, the most flavorful of all wines. Aye, the legendary Bachu wines were born right here in Wineport. Ahem, <laughs> pardon my enthusiasm. See, I once had the privilege to sample that particular wine. It was an otherworldly experience. Uh, in that moment I felt as though I had tasted the nectar of the gods themselves. I transcended my mortal flesh and was one with all creation. Um... There's a secret ingredient in this wine. Oh, yes, indeed. It's called LSD. Lots and lots of LSD. Ah, but it isn't all too often said. The calamity changed that. The Bachu's vineyards were completely destroyed, along with much of the existing stock of Bachu's wine. What little remains is closely guarded by its owners, for it can no longer be made. Oof. If we cannot convince Berglet to part with his wines, our next best option, as ridiculous as it sounds, is to find someone who has a bottle of Bachu's vine, and to offer them every gill we can spare. I've heard rumors that one of the uh, Vingerins tending the vineyards might have once owned a bottle. Perhaps you could start by speaking with them. <laughs> Speak with the Vingerins, huh? So apparently this Bachu's wine is like the king of the crop. Like I said, I'm pretty sure there's some secret ingredients in there, and this is the wrong room. There's nobody in here. This door does not open. I have to go back with the grump. Is he in here? No. No, he's not. Where is he? Is he behind the house? Is that where I'm going to find this son of a bitch? He is... Not back here either? He's gotta be- maybe he's up there on the other side of the wall. Looks like the marker's still pretty high up. Where... Oh, where would I find this? There you are! There you are! Jeez, you were a pain to find. Bachi's wine? Ah, don't remind me. I used to have a cellar filled with this stuff. Thought I could keep the wine safe from thieves and the elements. Never counted on a bloody primal blowing up my goddamn house. Yeah, nobody expects the Bahamut Inquisition. Nobody. Ah, oh, there's our other person. What? Do I have Botch's wine? I wish. Never had the chance to try it myself. Sorry, friend, but you're a few years too late. Of course I am. Of course I am. Well, Shimani, that was a big old bust. No luck, hmm. Most regrettable. I mean, we had to try. Ah, but Botch's wine would have been perfect for the occasion. Though, I must confess, my certitude could be due in part to my personal history with the beverage. It is, after all, the very reason I decided to become a Vintia. After Titan blinded me in our battle beneath Ogomro, I fell into a deep depression. Ah, so it was Titan that took out your eyes. Oh, and there goes my chocobo. He must have timed out. It wasn't until I tasted Bachu's wine for the first time that I realized there was still so much I could experience, even in my condition. It helped me to find a new direction in life. 
Ah, it breaks my heart to think that wondrous ambrosia which once filled me with hope may be forever lost to us. Hmm, what do we have here? High potions, high potions. Well, I might as well take one of these. Give a man a drink. I must say, this talk of Bocce's wine has made me rather nostalgic. Indeed, there is much I miss about my life with the company of heroes. After everything the captain has done for me, I could not bear to disappoint him. I have no fear. I swear that I shall find a suitable wine for the banquet, though I may need some time to think of a solution. In the meantime, there is a favor I would ask you. Two years ago, in the deepest depths of my despair, I stumbled across Vilbrand as a vagabond drunk. I suspect I was looking for a place to die, because I very nearly found one not far from here. It was there that a man named Drest took me in and nursed me back to health, and it was he who gave me my first taste of Bacchus wine, which helped me to find my new calling. I was completely high off my balls. Though I am still a novice in the art of winemaking, I would like him to know that I am pursuing my dream. This wine is my own original creation, and I would be most grateful if you delivered it to him in my stead. Drest sometimes works at the Raincatcher Gully Docks, so perhaps Riskit can tell you where to find him. Hmm. Looking for Riskit at the wine or at the Rain Gully Docks. That would be just south of here. It's not too far. You're a uh, pretty plain-looking guy to be a uh, someone who taught the taught our uh, our good friend here how to make wine. Dressed. Oh, you mean the hermit? I tossed him a few gill when we need an extra pair of hands. Doesn't talk about himself, and I sure as hell's don't ask. When a man's got a face with scars like that, you best leave well enough alone, I say. If you have a mind to find him, though, then head southwest to the Severed String. The Severed String. That... Nope, it's still on this map, at least. Oh, hello. That looks like a Garlean war machine. Just crashed here in the middle of nowhere and rusting to death. <laughs> you find all sorts of random things wandering around. Hello? Anybody home? Well, hello there. You're a one-eyed bandit. <laughs> what? What do you want? Uh, here, dude. Have some, have some booze. But wine? I, I didn't ask for this. Who sent you? I, I ugh, ugh. Uh, that weight? Dressed is suffering from extreme duress. Can't, can't sleep. It won't let me sleep. The midges, the buzzing keeps me awake. I, I'm not. I, I never wanted to hurt anyone. I won't fight. I don't want to fight. Please make the buzzing stop. Please make the midges go away. Dude, dude. All right, man. Calm down. All right, I've done this before. It's very simple. I just go out, I kill a couple midges, and everything's good and right as rain. Hmm. You know, considering what that dude was saying, methinks he be a Garlean defector. You know, just a hunch at this point. Him talking about how he doesn't want to fight anymore, uh, coupled with this whole, uh, shall we say, wrecked airship. Definitely leads a little credence to that theory. Here we are. That's five Dungmage swarms. Now just run back up here and let him know that the buzzing has ceased. Or at least slow down a little bit. Alright, dude. Hopefully the bugs will let you the lack of bugs will uh, let you sleep a little better at night. It's not so loud anymore. Did did you do that? Thank you, I Ugh, please, brothers, I beg of you. I said I'm sorry. Leave me. Leave me at peace. Jeez, man. He is definitely roughed up. And none of these are all that useful, so I'm just going to take the uh, the gold. Not my war. He is a Garlean defector, isn't he? Do, do you have any children? I have a, a son and a daughter. They were so little when I left. They probably think I'm dead. I've been saving for years to, to buy passage back home somehow. But still not enough. Maybe... Maybe you could bring me some jungle coral skins? I can sell them. I just I just want to go home. He is. He is a Garlean defector. Well, not really a defector or a deserter, but more like someone who's simply been stranded here for so long. He's kind of gone a little jungle mad on us. Now, we're looking for jungle corals, and my map says they're just a wee bit to the east.
All right, my man. Four jungle skin. Guys, guys, calm down. Calm down. There's room enough in here for everybody. Please, even a few skins would help. Here you are. Four jungle coral skins. Uh, uh, don't mind the scorch marks. Uh, these things were not easy to take down. Yeah, you helped me. Even after what my comrades and I did to your country. We were on a reconnaissance mission when the maelstrom caught us by surprise. We tried to escape, but the others... No one else survived. I didn't ask for this, dammit. I'm not even Garlean. They conquered my lands just like they tried to conquer yours. You're a conscript. Oh, that sucks. I, I don't want to die in some blasted jungle halfway around the world. I just... I just want to go home. Poor guy. Honestly, that it really sucks what the Garleys do. Not only do they conquer you, but they can script you to fight for them. It's terrible. I... I wish to thank Shamani for the wine. That that was overly kind. Would you be willing to bear a gift back to him? Earlier today at Red Mantis Falls, I collected the sap from nearby palm trees. If placed in coconut shells and stored for a few bells time, it, it makes for a fine wine sea. It should be ready now. I left three shells out there. Please take them to Shamani for me. I'm I'm glad he's moved on with his life. I hope to one day do the same. Poor guy. No, that, that's just actually horrible. Collect the palm wine. Ah, I see it's over there, over by the old long stop. A one, a two, and a three. Okay, big old toad, don't mess with me. I gotta get my ass back to wine port. And let me guess, this palm wine is gonna be exactly what we needed for the party, right? Right, Shimani? It has been some time, Dekuman. What news do you have addressed? Well, here, have some palm wine. Ah, yes, I recall he did have some knowledge of winemaking. A simplistic, but nevertheless effective method that utilizes the natural properties of palm sap. I shall have to enjoy this batch before it spoils. We are not so different, Trust and I. Two men who have long struggled not to let our scars define us. I worry that he has been alone with his thoughts for far too long. Dude, you don't know the half of it. The guy's gone completely bonkers on us. Oh dear. Well, I suspected as much. I, it is past time I paid him a visit. Thank you for looking after him, Dekuman. Now, see if any of these are worth a damn to me. They are not. I'll just take the money and run. It was a very good year, huh? By the gods, Dekuman, listen. I know you're eager to wash your hands of this wine business, but I've just discovered something extraordinary about dressed palm wine. He sealed each coconut shell with a leaf. A leaf which has a very distinct shape and unusual odor. I thought I was going mad at first, but now I'm certain. These are the leaves of a Bacchus grapevine. Do you know what this means? Somewhere in Raincatcher Gully, the legendary vine still grows. If we could obtain a cutting, we could revive the Bacchus wine industry. We must know where Dress found these leaves. Here, take one of them back to him and see what he remembers. Hurry, hurry. I need I'm jonesing so bad for that Bacchus wine. Well, Dressed, I uh, honestly wasn't expecting to come talk to you again so soon, but apparently you have stumbled upon the secret of LSD in the Final Fantasy universe. Oh, hello again. What is it? Dude, I gotta find where you get this from. It, it's just a leaf, isn't it? I only chose it because it was pretty. Didn't know it was rare. I found them near the Juggernaut to the south, but I didn't see any grapevines. I saw fresh gobu tracks, though. Maybe, maybe the leaves came from vines growing on the back of one such beast. Oh, interesting thought there. If, if you go looking for it, please be careful. Some gubus are more territorial than others, and you may have to defend yourself. Eh, don't worry. I am more than capable of protecting myself from a goddamn gobu. Now, where are we going to head for? Looks like, oh, his downed ship. That's what they want me to head to. I see purple smoke. That's usually a sign that we're about to get into a shit show. And... Shezmu? This guy's got a name. Unfortunately for him, a name does not mean- Uh-oh! Moldy Sneeze. A name does not mean he knows how to use his abilities to kick my ass, but I know how to use mine to kick his. Ooh, you ain't got much left in the tank there, Shezmu. Good night! Deliver the Bacchus cutting to Shimani Lamani. Ah, he did have the cutting on his back. Awesome. Well, Shimani, I think we have what you need. Oh, God damn it, hurry up! I'm Josie here! 
What did Dress have to say, Jacobon? Tell me everything. Here you go. Ah, I was right. This smell, this texture. I hold in my hands a Bacchus grapevine cutting. Come now, enough of this nonsense. I've heard talk of your discovery, and I refuse to believe that a common adventurer and a novice venture could... Oh, shit. Was the real thing. Tove is my witness, it is a Bacchus grapevine. Wherever did you find this fantastic specimen? You're giving it to him? What? You would offer this to me, but why? There is none better position to reconstruct the Bacchus vineyards than you, Master Burgund. You have the resources, the knowledge, and the passion to do so. It would be selfish of me to keep this cutting. I never knew you cared so deeply about your craft. Thank you, good sir. I will not squander this gift. In just a few years' time, I swear that every tavern across Eorzea will once again be clamoring for a cask of Wineport's legendary Bacchus wine. Oh my god, everyone in the realm is going to be high on LSD wine. You have no idea. Sir, you need... Wait, the shape of this bottle, the scent of this label... This couldn't mm. possibly be... A 1547 Bacchus! But that's impossible! This vintage has not been seen since years before the calamity! I must have it, I must! Uh, oh, calm down, man. It's, it, it's just wine. No, you don't understand! This is the same wine I got so high off of! It was the crown jewel of my personal collection. For years I debated opening it, wondering if today or tomorrow would be the ideal time. But now I realize that it was never meant for me. It should be savored by the saviors of Wineport, I say. He has made us an offer we cannot refuse. Master Gege Ruji will find no finer wine. Sad as I am to pass this up. You have forever changed Wineport, Dekubon. Thank you for your kindness and your generosity. Ah, but do not permit me to delay you any longer. Pray deliver the wine to Captain Wiscat. You better hurry. I'm going to catch you on the road and steal it for myself. Hmm? Well, yes, I would very much like to drink it, but I am a patient man. I have faith that one day I shall have another opportunity to taste perfection. Just be careful how much you give with these guys. Last time I drank half the bottle and I wound up in bed with a goddamn Gobu. Too much information, Shivani. Too much information. Ah, well, hopefully this is the last ingredient we need for this danged feast, right, Whiskat? Actually, I have like three more for you to find. Your prolonged absence was beginning to concern me. So, what did the wine I asked you to bring? Here, here. If this doesn't cut it, nothing will. Is that... Seven Hells, 1547 Bacchus. Even I know how rare that is. You have no idea what you've just brought me. Everyone in this party is going to be high off their balls. I have to admit, I didn't think you had it in you. But congratulations, Dekumon. Thanks to you, this will be the most luxurious feast Costa del Sol has seen in years. Damn well better be after everything you put me through. A final ignominy? Oh god damn it. Now what fresh hell do you need for this? Oh hey, Shul, I didn't see you there. No, of course you didn't. I hate to impose further after everything you've done, but would you mind helping to switch lay out the banquet? Our guests of honor are already here in Costa del Sol, and so Master Gege Ruju has demanded that we finish preparations immediately. Hmm? The guess. Oh, I'm told that one is a beautiful Mikote scholar. Personally, I'm more curious about a companion, some famous adventurer with an endless list of accomplishments. <laughs> oh, I wonder who those two characters might be. But you can judge for yourself soon enough. Anyway, go and lend Durswitz a hand. The poor man is liable to collapse from the stress. Hey, Estola, what are you... <laughs> You're just waiting for the feast to start, aren't you? Greetings, Dekuman. I thought it fitting that I seek you out and offer my gratitude for all that you have accomplished. All right, so apparently we're going to be helping set the very banquet we've been invited to, which is uh, kind of funny. Perfect timing, Dekumon. Take all of this and arrange it on the counter. No time to chat. They'll be here any minute. Arrange the exotic flowers. Okay. Exotic flowers. Uh, More exotic flower. Oh, Bacchus wine. Uh, no, not emote. Jesus. <laughs> Exotic feast. More exotic feast. 
And lastly, one more exotic feast. Oh, uh, this is insanely silly. There we go. Back to Wiscott we go. I wonder if he's going to realize, uh, you know, who exactly he's waiting on. Oh, watch out. Chocobo coming through. <laughs> Excellent timing, Dekumon. Now that both our guests are present, the feast can begin. Where are they, you ask? Why don't you ask your associate? I'm sure she'll be happy to explain. Oh, he knew. Oh, he was just trolling us, you bastard. <laughs> In the company of heroes. You have the look of a man who has been to the seventh hell and back. That a guest should be expected to supply the victuals for a banquet held in his own honor. And, the, and this while the shadow of Titan looms over us all. A beggar's belief. I can only applaud your stoicism. Had I been asked to endure such ignominy, I fear I should have accepted my lot with less grace. But thankfully you are a very silent protagonist. <laughs> it's still funny we had to set up our own feast. Oh, Gege Ruju. Lady Estola, so let's play up! <laughs> Damn, that was impressive, Gege Ruju. A thousand pardons for this extreme discourtesy. I was wholly unaware of your true identity, sir. Had I known, I would never have permitted my man to subject you to such unspeakable ordeals. <laughs> disbelief, just disbelief. Come now, he must have sensed something was amiss. Hail, hail, the gang's all here. You didn't seriously think I would send you running the length and breadth of Eorzea for a banquet, did you? Spare him your mockery, Captain. Your intent was unclear to me until this moment, and unlike me, Dekamon has no knowledge of your traditions. Mayhaps you would be so good as to enlighten him, hmm? I was being recruited, wasn't I? Probably. Aye, aye, fair is fair. There's no sense hiding it any longer. We five were chosen by our brothers and sisters, and before the company of heroes disbanded, we each swore a solemn oath that any who would follow in our first steps, footsteps must be weighed and measured, not by their reputation, but by their deeds. I see, this was a test. Each man would judge these would-be good god slayers by his own criteria. If even one found him wanting, he would be rejected without a second thought. I'm pretty sure I am five for five here. But if he proved himself worthy, we swore that we would do our utmost to support his cause. The world has ever been full of brave souls eager to give their lives for a righteous cause, but all too few capable of making a difference with their sacrifice. To send wave after wave of hapless adventurers into the jaws of a foe against whom they have no hope of victory is worse than futile. Titan is not one to be challenged lightly, and we will not be complicit in the depths of the unworthy. Which is why the five of you deigned to test Dukamon with such commendable thoroughness. Time well spent, I am sure. But tell us, Captain, what is the assessment of you and your fellows? He's a brave one, that much is certain. He willingly walked into the midst of danger, despite my repeated warnings that it could cost him his life. His skill is undeniable. He stalked his prey as relentless as any child of the sands, and struck with precision when an opportunity presented itself. Too many adventurers these days care only for fortune and glory. Dekumon, however, is a kind and generous soul. I am certain he has no shortage of loyal allies who would gladly fight at his side. Hiska! Really up dander is talented plans maker! Trixie foe for mighty rockman! <laughs> I can only concur with my colleague's assessment. We five of the company of heroes hereby judge you a worthy challenger. Cast down the Lord of Crags, to come on, let's play, and write a new chapter in the history of Eorzea. <laughs> oh, oh, you guys are too much. Also, I'm not eating any of that cheese, nor am I. With the formalities out of the way, let the festivities begin. Summon the dancers, pour the wine, let's get high off of this shit. Eat, drink, and be merry, my friends, for today we celebrate the birth of a new legend. Dekubon, let's play Titan's Bane. Ah, oh, you guys, you guys are way too much. Ah, <laughs> uh, time to enjoy the feast. 
Come on, Estola, let's get high off of this wine. You have no idea. The bottles have gone already. Speak with the bronze-skinned beauty? The bronze skin. Oh! Oh! Oh, I get dancing girls! Oh, this just, this just got so much better. Congratulations, sweetling. Now, relax and enjoy the show. It's only just begun. <laughs> Partake of the feast. Well, this is uh, probably going to end with me face down and ass up in an alley somewhere, but why the hell not? <laughs> yeah, I just, just very calmly just going to eat all this and oh god tasting the exotic feast triggers a divine revelation in that brief transcendent moment you glimpse the true form of reality comprehend its fleeting nature and cry out to the heavens in celebration it really is getting me high <laughs> either that or the cheese is literally just made of acid uh, speak with all the former members of the company of heroes when you face the Lord of Crags, think not of Limsa Lamensa, Eorzea, or anything beyond his chamber. Think only of the men and women by your side. Fight for them, and they will fight for you. Remember that no great victory was ever achieved alone. At least not until you're, you know, super overleveled and you can take that shit yourself. Yishka! Goodly Uplander must be facing mighty Rockman with clever flighty think. Gubbyfuck cannot be coming to rescue this time. Yeah, I, I remember your rescue attempt. It didn't end well for anyone involved, especially you. Ah, Dickumon, you brave fool. Promise me that when you meet Titan, you'll look him in the eye and tell him Lancel sends his regards. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I don't think I'll have time to tell him anything other than duck. You are a veteran of countless battles, Dickumon. This is but one more. Trust in your experience and you will prevail. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You are blessed with a fortitude to rival the Earth itself. Titan will struggle to break you, I think. And then finally back to Ishtola to finish out this quest. You are kind to indulge them, Dekumon. This banquet is as much for the company as it is for you, whatever they may claim. I do not deny that they mean well, but now is scarcely the time for celebration. Though they have all but pronounced you the victor, the battle with Titan has yet to begin. The hour has come for the good captain to make good on his promise. We must speak to him again, and he must tell us everything he knows. Alrighty, those are still not anything I can wear, of course not. Just getting a lot of gold pieces out of all this, because I can't use any of the gear you're showing off, it's all tank gear. Mount speed in eastern Lenosia has increased. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness, now that I got most of the adventuring done in this area. As you wish. You must be eager to face Titan. As promised, we will show you the way. Travel to Bronze Lake in Upper Lenosia. There you will meet with Riol, another man who once served with the company. To ensure that this knowledge does not fall into the wrong hands, he will remain in hiding until you have given the correct signal. Give me your map. You must whistle loudly at the three locations I mark. Only then will he appear to meet you at this fourth location. I realize this may seem excessive now, but you will see that it is more than reasonable once you comprehend the risks inherent in our method. <laughs> Whistle loudly at the designated locations. And I don't think I've actually been to Bronze Lake. No, unattuned. Damn it. Looks like Wineport's my closest teleport, actually. Ah, <sighs> finally. This is not an easy area to get to. First things first. Make sure I've got the Aetherite for this zone, because I think this is actually one of the last Aetherites I'm missing. At least until I get to the 40 areas. So. We need to find these destinations. Oh, okay. I thought I actually had to use a whistle emote, but apparently I just have to interact. Good to know. All right, here's the last one. And he is over here now. There's our man. Greetings, mate. Might you be the one the captain said would come calling? Aye, I thought so. Pay attention now, because I ain't explaining myself twice. Awesome. Oh, oh, we're there. We are there. 